Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Karol Kioski. I'm from General Bios, and today I will show you how to connect uh, BATM2 machine uh, to your own BATM server. Uh, as you can see, here we have our machine now connected to a default server, the General Bios server, where I'm for 30 days for free, and uh, and I would. And now uh, we are ready to connect uh, the terminal to your very own server. So, how to start? First, we need to install the Linux operation system. You can install that on uh, your own hardware, but you can also install it in, on cloud. So, let's do it on cloud because that's the uh, most convenient way, and also it's a cheaper way, and that's also how our customers prefer it so let's go go to our website click on products uh, let's say btm2 bitcoin atm you can scroll down and here you can see that we recommend digitalocean.com you can click here to get a ten dollar discount okay uh, let's sign up I uh, will sign up as uh, uh, support and generalbase.com. You will come up with some very strong password. Okay. Okay. Six unique characters. Okay, very strong password now. Okay, let's uh, confirm the email address. Let me check if uh, we received some email on General Byte support. Yes, we did. And we have to click on some very long, uh, very long uh, link, which I don't know how to get uh, there. Mm -mm -mm. Let me put it on paste bin. Okay, so so what I received, uh, I'm in virtual machine, so that's why I cannot just copy paste from my email address. Seven H K X A D one one. In your case, uh, you can go directly to your email address and to your email box, and you just click on the link. It's only me who is doing it so complicatedly. Okay, so billing info. Okay, we have to put in our credit card. So let's put mine. Uh. Okay, now month. Okay, first name, last name.
Okay, so let's save my card. Perfect. Let's create a new droplet. Droplet is basically virtual machine, uh, and you can have multiple virtual machines there. Uh, we will we support Ubuntu, so let's go with the Ubuntu 16.04.2 x64 64 bit. Okay. How much RAM? How much hard drive? So uh, we recommend. Uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 40 gigabytes of SSD. That's fine. Where do we want to have our uh, virtual machine located? Best is to have it uh, close close to the machine. We are in Europe, so I'll keep on Frankfurt. In US, I recommend to stay in New York. Uh, probably number one is good. Uh, okay. SSH keys uh, for I use SSH keys, but you, you for simplicity, uh, we will do it without uh, SSH key. Yeah, 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 we will receive fruit password by email. Perfect. So let's do it ATM server, or let's call it BATM server. Okay, one droplet. Create. So now we can see that uh, DigitalOcean is creating for us the virtual machine. Uh, that's gonna take, uh, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so. Uh, I'll, check, uh, I'll check the email meanwhile. If No, we didn't receive the password yet. Uh, okay, so this is it. Uh, this is our uh, ATM server. It's already got Linux installed on it, and it has an IP. This is the IP address to which we will be connecting to. Let's try to connect. Uh, we can connect. Uh, we can. We have to go get to the console somehow. Uh, best is to. Okay, we can. No, we cannot. Still, we cannot turn this droplet on. We have to wait. It's still in state creating. Okay. So meanwhile, meanwhile what? Uh, meanwhile, let's let's take a note. So, so in email address, uh, sorry, in email, you got uh, the license key from from the from the sales team. License key is has to be used for installing the server. So. Let me just check what is our license key. Okay, it should be one, two, three. You will have uh, definitely longer license key. Uh, we can copy here our address. Let me move it here. Here we will keep our notes. Our IP. Uh, let's uh, let's say that uh, what what is gonna be our password? We definitely want to change the default one. So then let's change it that our root password will be I don't know BATM rocks. Okay, maybe without this, round to three, okay. Okay, we can, we can check meanwhile, we can take a look on General Buys website. And uh, he, here we can take a look uh, on how to install the server, so the installation of the server is is described here. This is actually the video which you are looking at is is here. Here you can also see what's the latest version of the server. If you want to know what is new in the in that version, you can click here and you can see what we've 
edit usually we we do something like two to three releases per week let's take a look at the droplets okay so seems like it's uh, already created uh, it's turned on that's fine uh, uh, we don't need uh, monitoring now here you can do various things you can add uh, you can add processors for example if you did a mistake you can you can change it here uh, you can delete the droplet which we won't do now you can power on and power off uh, but I'll use this switch it's better and uh, one of the one of the options here is access and we want to launch the console this way we can see what is on the screen so you can see that we installed the Ubuntu and uh, this is the login okay so the username is root and the password we are supposed to receive by email let me check uh, the email okay I got uh, several several emails from DigitalOcean but this one contains the password so it's D3A177CC5745 F oh no again it's timed out so root and D three A one seven seven CC five seven five F one five six seven D Five four six F E C torture two D. Okay, so we logged in. Perfect. Uh, it wants us to enter the to change the password, but we have to enter the current one first, which means another torture. So again, D three. A one seven seven C C five seven five F one five six seven D five four six F E C nine torture D okay new password a new password will be B A T M rocks rocks one two three B A T M rocks one two three okay so I will not have to enter that uh, crazy password again so here I can write uh, the commands commands uh, which you will be uh, issuing but uh, I prefer not to use this console uh, but I prefer to use the SSH uh, so for you if you have a Mac or or uh, if you have a Mac or you Linux uh, I recommend you to use SSH for the for the Windows users they can use putty or they can use this uh, window and write commands here okay so I'll close that I'll open a new window here okay so SSH to our address here as uh, sometimes uh, users prefer to write it here okay yes we trust that computer that certificate and we enter this BATM rocks one two three okay so we are logged in 
but it's much better it's much better interface we can click click here anywhere we want so step number one is to download the installer so you do let's see what is here we are in root directory so we do we get http hq mineral bytes.com slash wait a second recess slash ATM install okay so I downloaded the installation script but before we execute it uh, before we run it we have to add uh, executive permission to it okay so now it's screen let's run it if you are not using uh, if you are not root user as here you have to run this one with sudo okay or you can run it with sudo also now but uh, okay so here is uh, here are a couple of commands in it download configure finish if you are a pro and you, this is not the first time when you are installing uh, uh, the server you can go with pro command and it's much faster to install it but uh, for simplicity now I will I will run it uh, as it should be so continue with PATM install in it okay so let's let's run this command in it enter your license number our license number is one two three one two three okay so it checked uh, the license number if you have a issue that uh, something is not working make sure that you have internet connection when you if you use the digital ocean droplet uh, you are sure that uh, the internet is working there you don't have to check that okay so first we have to set up mysql password so for now i will set it up as mysql password will be uh, mysql root so that will be root password into mysql database mysql root okay re-enter so i'll type it again okay installation continues so we support only Ubuntu uh, Ubuntu Linux Ubuntu server Linux yes our software should work also under different distributions like Linux Mint or or Debian but we just don't support them if you run into some issue we are not able to help you because we cannot uh, study all of the uh, Linux distributions. So, so next, uh, let's proceed with BATM install download. Okay, so now it's downloading the the server installation pack. It's not the latest version; is the latest uh, stable which might be a half a year old even so next uh, next step is to run the you don't have to run it with sudo configure so database name database name for example the ATM so this is the name of the database under to which uh, to which the ATM software ATM server software will write to username so BATM user for example and the database password for that uh, user let's say BATM password okay we have to enter now this uh, root password which we were uh, entering uh, setting up to MySQL let's put it here enter now we have to enter the public IP address right so it detected uh, that the IP address should be this 
yes it matches uh, the one which we copied let's enter it okay so this is the IP address on of the interva interface on which the ATM server software should listen to so okay here if I list the IP addresses or the interfaces and its IP addresses on the machine on the server you can see that uh, one of on Ethernet zero is uh, one five six, so that's that's okay. If you ha if it happens that you s didn't set it correctly, you can edit it. Uh, sudo vim vatm config network, and here you can uh, fix it. If for example, if you did a typo, it happens that you put. Uh, wrong IP address in okay anyway so let's uh, let's continue on let's proceed with BATM install uh, sorry BATM install finish okay so now it's extracting the package and doing uh, doing the last configurations Okay, so here you can see that uh, the latest version, uh, that it's version from the May 20, 2017. Now it's already July, but first uh, let's run the uh, server and then let's upgrade it. So we do cd batm.batm manage. Okay. So the BATM manage, this is the directory where the BATM server is installed. And this is the main command through which you control the server, through which you can instruct it to do something or get some information. So you can, for example, run BATM manage space info. And it displays you that what platform are you running the server on? What is the public IP address? What is the status of the services? What is the version? I will not cover uh, the, these commands, this is covered by a separate video, but let's start a uh, server now. So BATM manage, start all, all services, master and the admin. Master service is the service which talks to the ATMs and the admin service is the service which, uh, which is running the web interface so we can access the server and where we can configure the machines okay so I'll start both of those services first let's uh, start admin service okay so also what I should mention is that on DigitalOcean there is uh, some one difference and that is that when we try to log in uh, the first login on server takes really long time Okay, so so these errors, uh, you can ignore them. Those are the ones. Actually, when you are running the the server, it also tries to migrate database from the older version to the new one. And since this is the first installation, it displays these errors, but you can ignore them. These are fine. Okay, so so as I was uh, talking about the admin service, it takes uh, quite a long time to login so let's let's log in now okay dps and uh, so i will type in https slash forward slash forward slash ip address of our droplet and then i will put in the put in the port which is 777 okay you, your connection is not private. This is because we have a sales uh, self-signed certificate. Each server has its own certificate. So I'll click on advance and proceed. Okay, so good. Our server is running, or at least the the admin admin part. So I'll, so default password. A username and password is admin admin login and as I mentioned the first login should take longer but it's it's not the case now I don't know why but uh, anyway 
that's uh, good so we can see that there is no listed terminal right now and we have this uh, old version let's let's run the upgrade now before we start to configure anything so here so where do I find the, what's the latest version that we can find here on support and latest is 2017 0.7.13 okay so we will run ATM manage we have to stop the services first before we upgrade so we have to stop the server so now if I have some connected terminal it will show uh, it will show error it will show no no uh, internet this uh, you can see that uh, this terminal is still showing uh, by bitcoins because it's connected to the different server okay so now now I stop the server and I will upgrade it to upgrade the server the syntax is btm manage upgrade server usually you have to write sudo here because I'm root I don't have to but if you are a different user you have to build number, build number is what we saw 2017 07 let's run it so now it's downloading the the new server version and it upgraded successfully to version 0713 let's start the services when I click on up or down I get I can see history of the command lines so I'll run now start this should bring up the uh, admin interface again okay this this warnings you can you can ignore okay so let's uh, let's get uh, there again because we restarted the server it's going to ask us again to log in so admin admin so first what we should do is to change uh, our admin password so I'll click on admin my profile the old password was admin and new password will be video video okay you should of course you should uh, choose something which is more uh, more secure next uh, thing what we should do is the to set up our own organization uh, we will not create a new one but we will rename the default one we will rename it to let's say what's the name of our company mm. Uh, ATM every where and see okay here are a couple of other other options for example here you should set up here the details but we will not do it for now here we can we we set the provider the SMS provider which service will be used to send SMS's because ATM needs to send SMS's or doesn't need but you probably want as uh, the machine and server to send SMS's uh, so either you can use your own Twilio account and you go to twilio.com you create an account there you get the SID token and the phone number and you put the semicolon in between them but for now for the simplicity we can use uh, general bytes API key for sending SMS's and we will charge you for the SMS's on the end, end of the month so let's and in order this to be working you have to enter here the API key API key, the GB API key is something else than the license number. Let me just uh, let me now skip this so we can continue on and uh, later on I will enter one. 
here also if you are in US you might want this ser uh, service and that's uh, the that's the identity you can choose the provider to tell you the name of the person which is using which is uh, which holds the phone or maybe I will re rephrase it phone identity provider is a provider which gives you the name first name last name address of the person by the phone number so when somebody enters the phone number on your machine through this service server can automatically find out his uh, his name and fill it into the identity okay so if you are in and this works only for US and Canada okay so we cannot uh, turn this on now let's uh, because you have to fill in the general bias API key if you want it uh, please contact uh, sales uh, team sales at generalbias.com and they will provide you with the GB API key let's skip this now and let's configure that later on when when we need SMSs to work okay so here is a log weaver he, here we can see we can search uh, what is uh, uh, what is on our server happening you can do that also via via here command line interface if you type btm manage log master it, it's gonna here you can page up page down or shift g you get on the very end of the log file and you can uh, see what's happening here you can also do the same you can view the same thing here through the web browser okay so first thing which we have to do is to check also the users let's leave the admin there uh, persons maybe maybe we change it to somebody else Maybe Satoshi Nakamoto is gonna be the person and let's create first the location where the ATM is gonna be so first will be probably my home home country it's gonna be here in Prague so Czech Republic Czech Republic time zone which machine will operate in Sprague contact person will be Satoshi Nakamoto I can add another person for example who is responsible for this machine if I have more employees in at work here you, I can place the pin into different uh, GP, GPS position and this GPS position will get later on shared with uh, coin ATM radar okay and this location correspond or belongs to my organization okay submit we have a location perfect uh, next uh, thing which we should set up is the notifications notification policy so first policy let's call it basic and it's it belongs to my organization let's add two rules one is when transaction succeeds I will get email uh, let's say support at mineralbytes.com so when somebody makes a transaction on the ATM I get the email with the details or if it fails I can get the SMS on my phone number okay and hit submit the SMS will not work because I didn't set in the API key but uh, this is how it basically works so I wanted to mention that uh, you can add more rules here uh, they are better covered in the in the video which describes how to configure BATM2 so please refer to that one okay okay so a notification rule now we need uh, some crypto settings first we will create uh, some basic simple crypto settings so BTC we will call it BTC 
it will be for configure cryptocurrency BTC uh, this cryptocurrency configuration belongs to my organization uh, discount cons will be enabled the currency which I have my machine configured for is CZK minimum uh, inserted banknote will be for example one check crown or in your case maybe one dollar maybe you want ten dollars ten dollar banknote to be the first one here we have buy and sell settings on one way machine like the BTM2 machine is uh, only buy applies so here so, so we will play only with this. This this cell is for a two-way machine. Like if you buy BATM three, so buy. We will we will here we in racers we specify from where the ATM server will pull the price from. So let's call let's use for example Bitstamp, and we will take it from the Euro market. Bitcoin exchanges support multiple markets like. Bitcoin to USD or Bitcoin to Euro so we will use in our case Bitcoin to Euro the wallet we will choose uh, the demo wallet for now how to set up different wallet uh, for example the blog.io which we recommend uh, you can uh, you can see in the BATM2 uh, configuration video okay so I'll set up demo exchange here again if you want to see the how to configure the demo exchange how to configure the exchange like Bitstamp or Kraken I'll see a different video where it's described also these, these settings are described in the BATM2 configuration video profit we will set on 5% okay finish okay so we have our setting here let's uh, I think we are good to go and create a terminal so our terminal has serial number and that serial number is written on the side of the machine so if you are here it's a uh, it's somewhere here so here here on the on this uh, on this side, it's that is where we put uh, that is where we put uh, the serial number. Okay. So it's not BTM, but BT one zero zero three zero five. Okay, let's create it. What's gonna be the name of the terminal? For example, JCP. That's a shortcut because we don't want to remember that 305 is the machine at my home. So we can mark it as active. Here, shared secret hash is something which you receive by email. So please fill it in. Administration key, just leave it empty. And the default administration key, uh, which you've been given by General Bias, will be used. If you want to change it, yes, then you can put here string and uh, into administration key, and that uh, and you will have different uh, administration key. But I recommend you to change that when you have your machine at the location, not before. Okay, notification policy choose let's leave this all empty it's all described to uh, let me go through this really quickly because it's all described in the configuring BTM2 video so default language will be English you will add a couple of uh, languages like S Spanish English German maybe a little bit of Czech language Japanese I don't know and maybe Chinese okay so what's gonna be the currency of the ATM it will be CZK but uh, we want to also accept Euro we, I know that uh, my my bill acceptor also supports Euro 
cryptocurrency will be Bitcoin. I already set it up uh, the the cryptocurrency configuration cryptocurrencies crypto setting for the Bitcoin so I'll choose that one I can have multiple ones for example I can have one which I use only for weekends or I can have one for one exchange and a different one for for I don't know as a backup connected to my hot wallet uh, this this I will not describe because it's already covered by the by the different video the BTM2 configuration video at which location the mess uh, the machine is and from when so I don't know today is 17th July 17th other settings cash collection mode I like the number two. For simplicity, I will I will use just anonymous mode. Uh, again, KYC AML is much more in detail described in the VTM2 configuration video. So I'll put here 1,000, maybe 10,000, maybe 100. Okay, and this one I will leave zero. Here I can also limit that per day on this um, on some crypto address will be converted only only a few only only some amount okay so <coughs> you want to also publish the information but not now because you are just playing with that it's not real uh, real data yet again this is covered in configure BATM2 machine let's hit submit something is missing we didn't fill in the shared secret hash so I'll put in different one but you receive the shared secret hash by email okay so we have the terminal ready to be enlisted on the server and here ready to be paired with the terminal okay before we move forward uh, I decided that uh, we should set up SMS service uh, so so I already received uh, the GB API key from sales team you may notice that it always begins with one AP letters and this one help will help me to uh, to send SMS is the BTM server will be now authorized to test as to send SMSs. So we save that. We can test it. We have to save the API key first. View again, and we can test. GB API key is valid. Okay. So and now all the queries with this API key, uh, all the SMSs, so uh, we will. We will count uh, them on GB server on the HQ, and we will invoice you once a month for the all SMSs which ATM sent. Uh, you will see that detail in billing uh, to which numbers you sent uh, SMSs and to which countries, etc. And this API key is also used to uh, to bill you for the querying phone identities. Okay, so let's hit submit and let's go and let's connect uh, our ATM to our server so this is the AP address which we should remember so it's 1652271 okay so I'll go to the machine and uh, I will enter this IP address uh, to to the terminal uh, in order to do that I have to take out the cash box and enter the administration so let's go there I have to open the cash box. 
so I can pull out the. I I I have to open the doors from the cash box to pull out the cash box. You can see now that because I had cash collection mode enabled, uh, it's displaying me these questions. No, 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 I'm not removing cash. And uh, here I have to click on the scan QR code and I'll scan the QR code. I'm presented with this menu because I have the cash collection mode enabled, which I displayed in the video that I choose uh, the option number two. If you have uh, cash collection mode zero, which means none, uh, you will see here stacker out error and then you have to click on the icon and then you scan the administration QR code. So I'll click on, instead of clicking on the icon, I'll click on scan QR code. Now I have to find the, now I have to find the image now I have to find the image uh, of the QR code in my phone. Okay, I'll scan it now. Okay, so we entered administration and we see here, and we see here uh, three options. Uh, we will choose change server, and now we enter the IP address of the server. It was one six five dot. Two two seven dot one four o dot four six. I hit okay. I'll hit okay. So it wrote the message that the IP address was changed. I recommend now you to exit the exit the menu and uh, let's put back the cash box. Let's close the door. Okay. I'll, I'll leave it as is. Okay, so let's check if the terminal is now connected to our server. Click on terminals and it's green. If you don't see it green immediately, uh, it means that uh, you did something wrong. Probably you entered the IP address or uh, the machine doesn't have a, uh, a access uh, to internet or the server is listening on different IP address than you entered. Uh, sometimes I recommend also to reboot the, the machine. But uh, you can see that the machine is now online and it started to show the show two exchange rates one for check crown which is displayed now and uh, later on it will display the exchange rate for for euro okay so i think uh, that's it uh, the rest of the stuff which you should uh, uh, see is uh, or you should watch is the BATM2 configuration video where it's, dis uh, where it's uh, explained uh, lots of stuff uh, maybe a few things about the server uh, sometimes on the uh, sometimes on the support we ask you to send us the support uh, the server log files so this is how you do it you enter the SSH or the console you run BATM manage, let's see what's, what are the available commands BATM manage uh, and uh, let's say send server logs that is how you send us the log files, for example you have some issue you can se send us server logs this way okay so this will create a zip file with the log files 
encrypt it and it's gonna send it to us okay so here are also commands how which help you to backup the server so you can call btm manage backup okay and it's uh it's backed up you can also restore the server uh, also you can clear log files you can delete them if they're too big uh, 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 what, what's uh, maybe interesting interesting is also to see the log files which I already explained uh, but I will I can do it again log master that is where we usually look that's the log file which uh, which describes the communication between terminal and server you can see here are some errors okay and uh, also you can look into the log file of the web server which is the administration interface through which we were configuring the machine log admin and here you can also see see some of the right now errors <laughs> anyway so we send the log files well, what else is here important or interesting you can upgrade uh, terminals through the console but uh, you can do that also through here upgrade terminal uh, it's what's also here interesting is the you upgrade uh, bill acceptors uh, through here or actually you prepare the firmwares here on the server for the bill acceptors for the terminals and then you go to the terminal and you click on I want to download the uh, the firmware also what's uh, interesting is here is the unpairing when you connect the machine to a server uh, the server remembers uh, the machine it's it's it remembers the fingerprint of the machine and if you for example give us the computer for the warranty claim and we give you a new one with the very same serial number the fingerprint changes so what you have to do is when you install the the new computer uh, you have to unpair the old one old computer from server so you would you would write pt manage uh, terminal unpair and uh, the serial number of the particular terminal 305 that that would be it okay so ignore this uh, these errors we will fix them in later version okay I think that's that's it uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to watch the BATM2 uh, configuration video and maybe BATM2 unboxing video too. Have a great day. Bye bye.